number of fresh Christmas trees will be sold this year. We reporting a record number of fresh Christmas trees will be sold this year. We stopped by Blue Mountain Farms Christmas trees in Middle Paxton Township, Dauphin County. They say it has been nearly impossible to keep up with demand. They are caught off guard by the record sales they're experiencing. But after talking with customers, they say it all makes sense. Everybody wants their home Christmas this year. They want the fresh cut tree. You know, they want they want Christmas at home. They they want happy. They're done with the the doom the gloom of side of 2020. They're ready for the happy, the excitement, the holiday and they've started early and everybody's just really excited to have the happiness of Christmas. Yeah, that's for sure. Blue Mountain Farms will be open this week, Friday, Saturday and Sunday from 8 to 4. Right. First and foremost, I want to give all praises to you. How about you? Stay connected with News Nation 24 7. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Shout out to Aquarium. Yahweh's name of the Heavenly Father, which is the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Bahashem, which means in the name of. Yahweh Shah is the name of the only begotten Son who was sent to deliver the children of Israel from their sins. Bahashem, Rechakwadash means in the name of the Holy Spirit, which is the volume of the book, the Spirit of Truth. Shout out to Aquarium. Peace to the elect. That's the men, women, and children who were slated to be delivered in these last days. Okay, and what you seen was a video of people anticipating or you had a record sale or you're having record sales of Christmas trees, okay, because of the oppressor, okay, because of this uh, king of Babylon. So you can understand because of Babylon the Great, because of this, you know, uh, uh, COVID-19 Okay, this whole thing manifesting, all right, and people are in their normal mirth that they would typically have. So in order to fulfill that need or that desire or that satisfaction, they want to buy more trees. And what is that causing? Record sales of uh, Christmas trees. And when well, what happened was the spirit hit me. I was in Home Depot and I noticed that the actual Christmas tree is the fir tree, okay? And immediately, you know, you know, spirit, you know, that's how you know when it's, you know, through the spirit of the Lord, when the Lord is supping with you because he start giving you particular information and, you know, uh, matching it with the scriptures, you know? And um, the spirit hit me and was and basically was like, oh, that's, that's the fir tree. And it makes sense why the fir tree is going to rejoice, all right, when the oppressor is going to go down, all right? So you have the Fraser tree, you have the uh, the uh, balsam fir tree, all right. You, you also too you have the pine tree. When you look it up, the pine tree is in the same family, okay, of the fir tree. This was sent to me by the Lev the Levite brother, you know, in the uh, Sidians camp, uh, Shemashawan. Uh, he sent that to me, the pine tree, and he also sent me this one. He said the fir tree. I was, you know, basically this is the tree that is typically used, okay, <clears throat> for uh, Christmas. And it makes sense why the scriptures tell you here, uh, Isaiah 14 and 8, Yeah, the fir trees rejoice at thee, and the cedars of Lebanon, saying, Since thou art laid down, no feller is come up against us. See, so the fir tree is about to rejoice. Why? Because when you go up, verse 4, it says, That thou shalt take up this proverb against the king of Babylon and say, How hath the oppressor ceased? The golden city ceased. And what's the golden city? The golden city is America. All right, and that golden city has gone forth throughout the four winds of the earth, oppressing other countries. All right, uh, by with the sword and with their philosophy and with their religion, spreading forth what Christianity and what comes with Christianity, Christmas. Okay, that's why the majority of the earth, okay, is into Christmas. Just like when you go back to uh, what was this dude's name, man? I think it was Chuck Smith, because after World War, after World War II, when America got the victory, Chuck Smith. All right, went on a rampage, man. He went, he he went on a uh, he, he went from coast to coast, spreading forth Christmas, man. So in turn, people are gonna do what? They're gonna celebrate celebrate Christmas, okay? And they, what are they gonna do? They're gonna get themselves a fir tree, okay? So, but the thing is, the scriptures are telling you that the golden city has ceased, meaning it's taken down. Verse five says, Yahweh Bashim Yahshai have broken the staff of the wicked and the scepter of the rulers, who smote the people in the wrath. With the continual stroke, he have ruled the nations in anger. He that ruled the nations in anger is persecuted and none hindereth. 
You see? So it's going to come a point in time where Esau Edom is going to become the prey. Right now, he's the predator putting other nations in subjection, especially with the C-19 and the Maxine and the chip, right? This is his whole plan to do that. But the tables are going to turn to where he becomes the persecuted. He becomes the vag vagabond. He becomes the fugitive. When Yahweh Bashim Yahusha comes with the holy angels to deliver the children of Israel, okay? It says, he who smote the people in wrath with a continual stroke, he that ruled the nations in anger is persecuted and none hindereth. The whole earth is at rest and is quiet. They break forth into singing, right? Because when this man goes down, the earth is going to be at rest. No longer is it going to be chemtrails being sprayed in the air, but all, okay? Barium oxide and aluminum. Okay, no longer is there going to be oil spills in the ocean. No longer is it going to be genetically modified foods being served to you. Okay, the laws of the, the laws of the of Yahweh Yahweh Shai, the laws of the scriptures are going to be upheld, and the earth is going to rejoice and is going to bring back its plenteousness because the earth has a spirit. The earth needs to rest. That's why you have something called the land Sabbath. All right, to where you will till a land for six years, but then the seventh year you will let it rest. Why? Because the earth has a spirit. The earth needs to rejuvenate. And ever since this man has been on earth, the scriptures tell you, yeah, the fir trees rejoice at thee and the cedars of Lebanon saying, since thou art laid down, no fella is come up against us. You see, meaning what? The trees ain't going to be getting cut down in the capacity that's getting cut down now. The fir tree in particular, as what the scriptures is telling you, because of these wicked holidays, because of these wicked rituals and wicked ceremonies that the scriptures clearly speak up against. Okay, when you go to Jeremiah, the 10th chapter, in the first verse, it says, Hear ye the word of Yahweh Bashem Yahshua, which speaketh unto you, O house of Israel. Thus saith Yahweh, learn not the way of the heathen, and be not dismayed at the signs of heaven, for the heathen are dismayed at them. For the customs of the people are vain, meaning they're empty, they're worthless. For one cut off a tree out of the forest, the work of the hands of the workmen, with the axe, they deck it with silver, and with gold, they fasten it with nails, and with hammers, that it move not. Okay, this is the custom, all right? This is the ritual. This is the ceremony, all right? That you devils have spread forth throughout the four corners of the earth. And what has it done? It oppresses the earth, okay? It says they, they are upright as the palm tree, but speak not. They must needs be born because they cannot go. Be not afraid of them for they cannot do ne evil. Neither also is it in them to do good. Why? Because essentially in ancient times, the people believed that uh, the spirit of Nimrod was in the tree. And that's why you would lay the gifts because he would come and basically, you were basically giving gifts for Nimrod. Okay. And that's why this is ultimately a custom of the heathen, a custom of ancient Babylon that modern day Babylon is pushing forth throughout the four winds of the earth. Okay. So like I said, the, the, the trees are going to rejoice. Okay. The fir tree is going to rejoice. The, the scriptures tell you here, it says what? Job 12 and 6, the tabernacles of robbers prosper, and they that provoke the Most High are secure. Okay, who's the tabernacle of robbers? The house of robbers. Esau, Edom. He's going around the earth, basically, you know, uh, 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 pillaging, uh, uh, ravishing the minds of the people. All right, it says, and they that provoke the Most High are secure into whose hand the Most High bring it abundantly. But ask now the beasts, and they shall teach thee Right? Who's the beast? The the uh, uh the animals, the cattle, okay? Even even a, even a pig, right? And there's a reason why the pig squeals, okay? When it's being slaughtered, because it's not in his nature to be sacrificed. It's not in his nature to be killed that way, okay? Just like why is a sheep so quiet when it's being killed? Because it, it's the sheep knows that this is my duty in life, okay? So even, even, even the pigs need salvation, man, from this devil. <laughs> All right? It says, and the beast shall teach thee, right? And the fowls of the air, and they shall tell thee. The fowls of the air. Why you think it's all mass, all kind of mass birds dropping from the sky. You seeing all these different news reports and all that because of the chemtrails, because of allegedly the 5G. Whether you believe that or not, whatever, man. Either way, the devil is, he's on a rampage. And the birds can't live. <laughs> okay? It says, or speak to the earth. What, what consists of the earth? All right? The land. 
Okay, what's consisted in the land? The trees. And it shall teach thee, and the fishes of the sea shall declare unto thee. And you're seeing that now, which the you have different whales beaching themselves, coming on shore, and rather dying than to swim in oil spills or whatever pollution is being whatever other pollution is being done to the ocean you're taking out the crabs you take it out the the bottom feeders the things that are supposed to be uh supposed to be in the water to clean it and you're actually eating it that's why you see when you throw a crab up in the pot it's looking to climb up bodies like what the fuck is this this is not why the most high made me so in that day the whole earth oh whoa let me get that because and, and i'm gonna prove that that everyone all the earth is going to rejoice Okay, uh, uh, this is the book of Philippians, right? And what does it say? It says Philippians chapter two, all right? And it says, uh, here it goes. Philippians chapter two and verse nine, wherefore the most high have also exalted him, talking about Yahweh Shai, and given him a name which is above every name, that the name of Yahweh Shai, every knee should bow of things in heaven, and things in earth and things under the earth. That is going to be the rejoicing. Okay. That is going to, th th this uh, confession is going to come with a rejoicing because righteousness is going to prosper on the earth. And, and that every tongue should confess that Yahweh Shai is Lord to the glory of the Most High, the Father. And I would not put it past that even the beast are going to, uh, 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 Rejoice at the name of Yahweh Bashim Yashah. The scripture is ultimately saying it, and it's not like the Most High haven't shown that he can't make a beast speak. Okay? So, and it, I'll read it again. It says that, that, that the name of Yahweh Shah, every knee shall bow of things in heaven and things in earth and things under the earth. Okay? It's going to be rejoicing in that day, man. It's going to be praise in that day. There's going to be relief in that day. There's going to be a true satisfaction in that day. Shortly after Babylon the Great is taken down and Esau Edom is taken out of power. And I'm going to close on that. Call Lord Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai by Hashem Shalom.